I'm an artist. My name is Leonard Kozianski. Uh, welcome to my studio. This is where I work every day. And I'd like to talk to you today about a painting that I did back in 2016 called Summer Morning. I live in Annapolis, in downtown Annapolis, and I'm a runner. And I run every morning through downtown Annapolis, through the streets of downtown, through the Naval Academy, and around the historic homes. It's one of my favorite times of the day. And I do it every morning. I run five miles. And I'm part of a running group. And this is my running group. We run five miles at six o'clock every morning. Well, four mornings a week, year round, rain or shine. I've been with this running group for years. And here is a picture of downtown Annapolis. This is Church Circle, the center of downtown. And there we see the historic church and the steeple points to the governor's mansion. Annapolis is an historic city. This is where George Washington resigned his commission as general of the Continental Army. It was also the capital of America during the Articles of Confederation. And it's the home of four of the homes of the signers of the Declaration of Independence. So it is an historic town. And it's a great place in the morning. But what's interesting is that the church circle bears a curious resemblance to this painting by Grant Wood called The Midnight Ride of Paul Revere. It's a painting that's had a big influence on me and in my artwork. So here I am in my studio, or here I was in my studio, and wondering what to paint next, staring at a blank canvas. So I sat down with my sketchbook, and I started doing drawings, small drawings, one by two inch drawings, and trying to figure out what I was going to do next experimenting with compositions, different arrangements of things, not quite sure what I was after. And then I sort of settled on this one moment, this one idea of the light pouring out of this building onto the sidewalk or onto the grass. And, you know, as being sort of representative of that time of day, that early morning when the sun is just coming up, when it's dawn, and you know, it's halfway between night and day, and there are still lights on, and yet the sun is just coming up. So I like this moment. This is a pen and ink drawing in my sketchbook. So then I needed to develop this into a composition for a painting, and so I'm trying different arrangements of things to figure out what this composition should be like. And so I do a couple more pen and ink drawings, and these are about five by seven inches just trying to get a layout of what I'm after. So then I made this painting or this drawing, a more complete drawing using value, creating a, a sort of a darker time. And very often when I start my morning run, it's dark outside and we can see the stars. So here is that time of day and we can see the light pouring out of that building. But I wasn't quite totally happy with the composition. So I continued working with that idea and developed this composition where I brought the church closer to the foreground and had that building. I like the arrangement of the road leading back into the distance with those hills and the water. So this became the basis for an oil painting. But it doesn't have any details. There are no figures. There are no details. But I like the arrangement of the shapes and the values. So then I, I, put a, I drew a pencil grid over this pen and ink drawing so that I could then blow it up to uh, a larger canvas. And this is the painting when it was done called Summer Morning. As I said, I did it in 2016. It's 42 inches high by 26 inches wide, oil on canvas. It's a surrealist painting. It's done from memory. It's done from my imagination. It's a combination of the visual appearance of things with my sort of subconscious perception of things, the uh, visual with the emotional, the, the real with the remembered, in an attempt to blend those two different sides of our experience to create a more truthful image. So if we look in the foreground, we can see a runner, and we can see that blue jay over on the left, and there are a lot of different textures in this composition. The leafy trees, uh, the, the, the grass, the pebbly road. And 
I use those textures to create uh, an interesting composition. It takes a long time to paint those leaves. I painted those leaves one at a time, but that creates a lot of visual interest and fascination in the painting. And it creates these very interesting textural contacts, uh, contrasts. But there's the runner casting his shadow on the ground, and, and there's that illuminated building pouring its light out onto the road and onto the grass. And if we get a little closer, we can see that there's a dog in the doorway looking out, casting its shadow onto the grass. And if we look into the building, we can see that there's someone in there who's casting their shadow onto the wall. A woman it appears. And so here we have this runner casting his shadow and this woman inside the building casting her shadow. Is there a relationship between the two of them? And this idea of light pouring out of a building is very much influenced by uh, the artist Edward Hopper, a, a mid-20th century American painter. And here is his famous painting called Nighthawks, which is in the Chicago Institute of Art. And his view of American urban life is very bleak, very desolate. My view is not like that. Uh, my world is not like his world. My urban world is much richer, both uh, emotionally and spiritually. So I can't paint my urban world the way he painted his. And here in the middle ground of my painting, uh, we can see that I've got this church and with stained glass windows. So how do you paint stained glass windows and have them look illuminated? Well, what I did was I first painted the windows in pure white. And then when that white was dry, I glazed thin layers of transparent oil color over the top to create sort of a luminous color, a sort of a stained glass color. I also used that same technique when painting the clock face and the facade of the church. So I first painted those bricks with pure white, and then when that was dry, I glazed the blue color over the top of that. Same thing with the roof of the houses. I first painted them in white to create that sort of shingly look, and then I glazed the violet over the top of that. Same thing with the road. And this allows me to create much more luminous colors than I would be able to get if I just painted them a la prima. And here in the distance, uh, we can see the boat over there on the left and those clouds and the water and the road and the cyclists. I'm not trying to uh, create a sense of nostalgia or to try to set a different time period with that trimasted boat over there on the left. Annapolis is a historic city, so we have a lot of these old boats coming into town. They're a major tourist attraction. They're a big part of contemporary life here in Annapolis. And those clouds are very much influenced by another American artist, John Rogers Cox. And his clouds, you can see, had a really big influence on mine. And there are those cyclists. And Annapolis is full of cyclists and runners. Annapolis is a real physical fitness kind of town probably because of the Naval Academy being here, and the midshipmen are always out running or cycling or playing football or something. So there are a lot of cyclists and runners here. In fact, I myself am a cyclist, and here I am getting ready for my Sunday morning run. And there I was in my studio, finishing this painting, summer morning, putting the finishing touches on it, getting ready to then varnish it and then frame it, and this is the finished piece, summer morning, oil on canvas, 42 inches high by 26 inches wide, representing that time of day between morning, between night and morning, that sort of on the edge of daylight. So in the painting, it's illuminated in the foreground and it's dark in the background. The perspective, we look down at the foreground, and we look out and across at the background. So it's like the space is sort of warped as well. But this was the finished painting, and as I said, I had to varnish it and frame it, and then I sent it to one of my favorite galleries, the J. Willott Gallery, out in California. They loved it, they hung it on their wall, and they sold it to an enthusiastic collector. And that's the painting. That's the story of my painting, Summer Morning, Oil on Canvas, and I'm the artist, Leonard Kozianski, and thank you for watching my video.